Hey everybody, uh, today I am going to show you a very quick tutorial on how I did my background. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about like the font and how I streaked it so perfect and all that. Um, I didn't really do that. It's a, uh, it's a um, render effect on a CS5 on Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to do that real fast. Um, and just uh, open you up a new uh, document and like this isn't my resolution but most of y'all you know you just want to put 800 by 600 something like that you know make sure it's set to pixels and uh, this will be a background so you're going to want to dump use your paint bucket tool and go black let's go black black and then um come over here to text now I've already downloaded this font it's called diffused um, it's real easy to find if you need to find it you can go to Yahoo and type in diffused font download I'm sure and uh, diffused there it is right there you can click download and download it um, save it and you'll see the true type font and what you'll do is go to your computer C drive um, windows fonts and pull this font over into the, the TTF and um, it's that easy to get and then once you do that you reinstall photo or you restart Photoshop and then you come up here and the font will be there and then whatever color you want your font to be in this case I put mine white that's a very huge font so we're gonna go down to like 11 and say minor two major or maybe even smaller than that then uh, let's go 8 no let's go smaller then let's go 6 minor to major productions okay very simple and I put it there you can move this however you like now remember this is your main background so this is going to be your whole all through here this is going to be your corners I mean this is exactly how it's going to look so um, apply that transformation and then go to filter and go to um, try to remember where it's at stylize and wind and go ok and then wind again and then come over here to image image rotation um, it's not the one I want to put an image, image rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise, and then come back up here, wind, wind. Now this will put it on, um, the top. Now if you want it on the bottom, you just do the same thing but you go image 90 degrees clockwise filter wind wind and an image 90 degrees counterclockwise and there it is this is exactly how I done mine 
but it's a very good apply that transformation bring this up I just changed my colors and all we can add this there and you can hit control and T and tilt it if you wanted to and then hit control and T again and move it and this is just a small tutorial on how to do that because a lot of people and there's different stuff that you can do up here um once you apply the transformation you can set all these different things up you know like that where you can have you know the it's pretty cool how you can do it but you would save that and apply it as your background that's exactly how I made this right here it may be a cheap way it may not be the right way like I said I don't really mess with them CS5 I don't mess with Photoshop too much I'm really just now starting to get the hang of it but as I learn uh, I'm going to be tutorials to teach you so you can learn with me as I go along if that's the way you want to do it um, I hope this helped you with the um, wind I suppose tutorial of CS5